Hello and welcome to another Kvitz tutorial. My name is Tom on Kvitz and Discord. My name is Pandu and I want to talk about Handlebars, Handlebar template engine in Kvitz today. So Handlebars is a little library that we can use for HTML, for dynamic HTML generation. Um, and we do this in Kvitz all the time. So if you click any op, um, you see the parameter panel on the right. All of this is generated HTML using handlebars. And we have this handy handlebar HTML op, which is quite underrated, and I want to show this to you. So in this example that we will build, uh, we will generate a list of words and a little title here that is coming from an object. So the objects look like this. It has a title, it has a show title, and it has an array of words. And in the end, uh, we will generate this HTML from those words and we will do this using the handlebars template language if you want to call it like this and this so this is our template um, and this takes the dynamic input and generates HTML in the end and then in the end we will even add an interaction so when I click this title you see the screen is flashing so we can add also interaction to those HTML elements. Okay, but let's start from zero. So I will add our handlebars uh, HTML operator here and I will create an empty object. So you can use any object. So you can use the comp object ops that I showed you in another tutorial. You can also use data coming from an API, for example. You can put in any object data, basically. And for example, we want to add a string to this object uh, using object set string, um, for example, title. And um, we give it the title, have a word, very creative, and um, that we feed into our handlebars HTML operator. <coughs> so. Let's have a look at the result using the this string operator. So the result is still empty. So when I click the H, uh, handlebars HTML op, I, you see there's an input template, uh, which is a string and I can edit this and I can type in some stuff here, stuff. So when I save this, you see the output, oops, the output of the handlebars HTML operator, uh, you can see here. So when you go to the Handlebars website, um, there is a whole documentation about this little language. And so they show you those expressions here, for example, this first name, last name, which will be filled with their first name, last name in this example. And we can use those uh, little handlebar expressions in our patch now. So in the in our uh, handlebars op, I will add a little title like this. And then you see h1 title. Let's put this into a element op. Uh, I will disable the size so it gets a, a dynamic size. So I had to type in here title. So now you see we are generating an h1. So if I type something afterwards, it will be uh, uh, shown like small, like normal text. So let's make this title dynamic. So I put in an object that has, let's have a look at the object first. Um, the object has this title key value pair. So this is title hello world. So I can now go in here and write uh, curly braces, title curly braces. And now you see, magically, this will be replaced with the hello world title from the object. And that's super handy, right? So you can, you can put in uh, strings or numbers and can use them in the, in the handlebars op. So for example, I can put in uh, object set number, for example, show title. And I can now go in here and also do this show title. 
and then we see this zero. So this is the, the number that we have in here. So I can also put in numbers. But I can also use this um, like a programming language, like a logical uh, expression. I can say uh, th that's the, you have to uh, type in a hash and then if, and then we can say show title. And then it should print this title. And then we want to end this if block. So when I save this, uh, nothing has changed. But I, when I change show title to zero, then the title is gone. So every value that's bigger than zero is trueish in JavaScript. So then the title will be shown. Um, so that's really handy. So you can, so you can enable uh, printing something or showing something to the user based on values, and you don't have to have many uh, HTML element operators or something. You can just dynamically cre recreate this HTML. Um, and you can do so much stuff with it. So you can, for example, use object set array. And then we use an operator random words, uh, which will give us a lot of random words. So let's crop this array to like 10 words. And now uh, let's have a look at this object. Oh, I forgot to enter a key. So let's call this words. And then we see uh, in our object, there is an array called words with all those words, but then I ball, whatever. And so we want to display this in our HTML as a little list. <coughs> so, with handlebars, you have the each uh, expression. So when I uh, do each words, so our, our key for this array is words. Uh, and then I have to end it basically like the if statement. So I end this here. So this whole block is the if statement. And the same I can do with each. And then I can use uh, curly braces, curly braces dot. And this means print the current thing in this array. So whatever, like you can also have objects in this array or whatever, but if you have strings or numbers, you can just say dot and then it will use the current word basically. <clears throat> and now we see, uh, we see all the words that we have in there next to each other. And so we can, we can style this like a list. So for example, we can use uh, a um, ordered list and we can use the li, the list entry uh, HTML element and put the word into a nice list. And then uh, it will look like this. I did something wrong, I guess. I guess it doesn't like the... Um, what the ah, so I have to close this li text. So here it starts and then I have to close it like this. And then we have a nice list of uh, words here. So we can then also use the CSS operator uh, for this. And uh, for example, style the li and give it a different color like this or like this or uh, use a different uh, version of the of the circle here of this of the um, disk you can also use disk for example and you can style this like normal html and uh, or like the h1 maybe we want to color this red like this so so this is really handy to if you want to produce dynamic html obviously so how about making those elements interactive? So, I, so when I hover this hello world here, you see the cursor is still the text cursor. So I will set a cursor pointer in the CSS. And then when I hover it, it looks like I can click. So this is just so that it feels like a normal clickable element. Um, we can now use a different op that is called query selector and we can use this 
on our title. For this, I will give the title an ID. For example, my title. And the query selector, uh, we use hashtag my title. So if you want to select by ID, it's a hashtag. And if you want to select by a class name, you use a dot. So this is just standard HTML, CSS, DOM query selector. And, um, oops, and I want to select this element every time the handlebars HTML is changed. So I will add a string uh, trigger on change string and I will connect it to this query selector. So, um, so now this outputs this HTML element. So I think we should be able to see this here. Yeah, okay. So you see, this is our HTML element. So you, we see already in our text. So this is, this is just our element, um, which is fine, which is nice. So we can use another operator, the element interaction, um, which is usually used with the element ops or with the diff element op, but you can also use it with this one. So this will just give you like a normal HTML element, and then you can use all the CSS elements that are showed in the last tutorials, uh, but you can also use this one. So this I want because I want to react to a click on this, on this title. So I can just connect uh, this first trigger output, which is mouse down left. So every time the mouse is down left on this element, we see a little trigger counter. So I made this, this element coming from this template interactive now. So I can, I can control stuff with it. So I could use, uh, for example, a bang op, feeding into a clear color. Like this, and now when I click the, uh, let's make it a little bit slower. So now when I click the the title, then the whole screen will flash. So we can, we can control GL stuff with it and um, yeah, do a lot of stuff with it. So in the next update of cables, there will also be a new operator for this. So you can have a lot of elements, make all of them clickable, and you can produce a dynamic list of elements using the handlebars op and then make them clickable. And then you get um, basically the data of those ops back. And then uh, it will, then it's really dynamic, really flexible to create HTML stuff with it, create content on your website with it or menus or whatever you want. You can do so much stuff with this. Okay. Let me know uh, if this is interesting to you and have a nice day. Bye.